Hi everyone, I'm Roland Tagufa and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's part 5 now of our tutorial about uh, stairs and railings. And today, we're going to continue our uh, topic yesterday. It's about understanding the stairs tools. Guys, before we continue, if you are new to my channel, please uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Alright guys! Let's get started. Now my Revit is open and the uh, next that I will do is uh, we're going to open our project yesterday. It's about railings and stays. And yesterday, we have discussed uh, two different tools for creating stairs in project environment. One is uh, stairs by component. This is uh, what we have done, this one, and the other one also. And this one, we did it uh, by uh, stairs uh, by sketch. And guys, uh, for uh, stairs by component, there are three system families that functions as the parent families. Number one is, uh, I'll click this, and uh, as you can see, if I go to property and uh, select this drop-down arrow, you can see three types. One is assembled stairs, number two is cast-in-place stairs, and number three is precast stairs. Uh, yesterday, we have done a lot of things about uh, assembled stairs. These are all assembled stairs. These things, these three Three, three figures that we have done this is done using this assembled stairs we have already discussed the things and the uh, next that we're going to discuss is about uh, cast in place stairs and precast stairs in assembled stairs these are all non-monolithic stairs to uh, check that one if I click this I'll go to this edit type you can see there is landing type non-monolithic landing if i click here there is uh, a, a builder uh, button and there as you can see this is non-monolithic stairs this is only one this is also system family non-monolithic landing so uh, our topic is uh, about uh, cast in place stairs and uh, precast stairs both two of these uh, stairs is uh, monolithic stairs. Uh, to do that uh, and to check that, uh, next that uh, I'm going to do is uh, we're going to create stairs. And we will study these uh, two types of stairs in depth. So next that I will do, I'll click this uh, project browser level 1, double click it. And uh, in uh, level 1, I'm going to the, to to this uh, architecture tab, and in architecture tab, we're going to create stairs. I click stairs, and then uh, in property palette, I will uh, click this down arrow, and in down arrow, I'm going to select this uh, monolithic stairs. And next, that I will do is uh, we're going to adapt everything, uh, the run run uh, location line run center and then uh, this uh, actual run with 1.2 and automatic landing and uh, also we're going to this uh, base level to level one and top level level two and uh, all of this we're going to adapt uh, we have uh, desired number rises of 23 now we're going to reduce this one. Yesterday we have done only 22 and now I will do 22 also. And then apply. Okay, I'll just uh, make this one our uh, maximum. Okay, everything is okay. Maximum is uh, riser 18. We'll, we'll make it uh, 0.2. and uh, 
Next uh, that I will do will going to duplicate this so that uh, we cannot we will not disturb our original uh, system cast in place family. I'll duplicate it and I will name this one monolithic stairs uh, configured config and then okay and then uh, next uh, that I'm going to do I'll just uh, adapt everything okay and then uh, we're going to make a run and a landing so I'm going to select this run and then this uh, straight line and I'll click here and I'll go up to 11 risers We only have 20. So, again, guys, uh, I want 22. I'll place this one 22. And then apply. And then again, I'll click here. And uh, we're going to make 11. 11. And then again, I'll go for a landing of uh, 1 meter. And then I go up to 11 remaining and then uh, we're going to finish this uh, first but uh, we need to set our uh, thread thread and uh, okay we'll adopt this uh, 900 mm pipe and then okay and then uh, finish edit mode and then uh, I'll go to this 3d and here is our cast in place this you see the difference guys this is concrete and this is cast in situ so to check that guys i'm going to this uh stage i click this and i'll go to this edit type and in edit type you see i have this construction in construction, we have this run type, and our run type is uh, 150 mm depth. So that depth is uh, from this portion, as you see this, my, you see my arrow, this uh, my cursor. This is my cursor from this to this one that is 15 mm. To check that, we're going to change that. So I'll go to this uh, uh, run type, and in run type, I'll click this uh, builder button and then in builder button we have this uh, point 0.15 check guys if I'm going to make this one zero and apply as you can see there is no thickness our thickness from this uh, top of this is the edge of stairs down is point 0.15 so I'll go back to point 0.15 and also here in under underside surface we have also two options i'll apply it one is uh, smooth this is smooth going like this is smooth and the other one there is a uh, step it means to say that if i'm going to select this step this will become like a step like this so i'll i'll choose that step and then apply and see it is already a step that is the option step so one is smooth and the other one is step again guys I'm going back to our uh, uh, edit type and uh, we'll again study all of the options uh, that we can do that we can we can configure about this uh, uh, monolithic stage so I'll go back to run type and then again click this and click this uh, uh, builder button and here I have discussed underside surface structure depth and there is monolithic material cast in situ now this uh, thread material and riser material because this is uh, non uh, this is this is monolithic this is grain this is this is not assembled this is cast in situ and you cannot edit this thread material and riser material it is 
grade. So now we have also here uh, what we call thread and if I'm going to click this thread, thread. Now I can assign a thickness of the thread. So let's adapt this and in thread there is also there is also thread profile there is a default if i click this one i have options one is i can have this uh, m thread and uh, there is another one which is uh, uh what you call this uh, uh c profile this is for steel so i'll just select this one and apply and as you can see we have a thread okay i'll just okay it and then okay and then okay and there it is there is a thread but uh, this thread is uh, offset uh, a little bit and uh, you can you can select that and you can make it down but uh, what we can do is uh, we will adapt our default so i'll go back to that and uh, we'll go to this uh, thread and i'll select this default and apply and as you can see now it's uh, touching that uh, uh, our uh, stairs monolithic stairs also guys uh, uh, if uh, we're going to select that uh, thread that uh, we have selected earlier there is a gap so to solve that, that gap we have a thickness of 0.05 0.05 thickness and M stair thread, M stair thread. Uh, we need to adjust our thickness so that this one will touch on this uh, concrete. So I'll adjust it and make it down to 0.4 and apply. And now, as you can see, apply, it goes down. Now it is already at our concrete. Now again, guys. Uh, I'll go back and uh, go to this uh, run type again and if I select default apply and then as you can see this is more better it's uh, at the top of our concrete so you can select both uh, default and uh, our uh, thread uh, M thread. So the next uh, that I'm going to discuss, guys, is about the nosing. We have a nosing here. There is a nosing length, and there is also a nosing profile. And uh, I want if I'm going to place a nosing of point uh, zero five, that is, uh, you can say. Uh, five centimeter and then apply there nosing nosing is extruded there is apply and nosing is as you can see there is a nosing that is coming that is 0 0.5 0 0.5 meters from this point to that point that is 0 0.5 0 0.05 meters or that that is uh, five uh, centimeter so you can adjust this according to uh, your requirements. So guys, I'll go back. And next that I'm going to discuss is about this, uh, what you call a uh, nosing profile. There is a default. And here in our uh, nosing profile, we can select uh, the reduce. So if you want to select this uh, point 0.20, apply. Here you can see. The radius is uh, coming but uh, our thickness is 0.4 so as you can see apply as you can see there is uh, the, the, the the nosing is like this if you select this point three there is a little bit uh, uh, what you call this a uh, bend here and straight and then like this you can choose like that or I go back and again, I'll go back to this uh, run type and uh, place uh, a nosing of uh, 0 0.40, apply, and then OK. And 
here it is applied this is 0.40 thickness so it's applied all over and again guys uh, i'll go back again and here before when we have not selected this uh, nosing this apply nosing profile is great and now when we applied 0.4 now you can now you also have again an option here you can have uh, front left if uh, I'll uh, select this one and apply that 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 nosing will apply on the left and also in the front so I apply it and then okay and then apply and then okay as you can see this nosing goes here on the left and there is also an option of applying on the right this nosing is only applying here on the right if we have a wall here in our left we can select only apply it on this uh, front and right and the nosing will come here and if we don't have uh, a wall on this left side what we can do is uh, we can apply both left and right so i'll go back run and then again i'll go front and then left and right apply and here as you can see apply and then okay here is our nosing nosing here and there is also nosing here on the right and here we also have a nosing and extruded 2.5 the other side there we don't have extrusion it's only about uh, this uh, nosing and on front side you have extrusion and then again guys i'll go back and then uh, i'm going back to this run type and in run type we have this riser riser and slanted and we can assign also a thickness so if i'm going to click this riser and then uh, click this slant and we're going to apply this riser tick apply and then as you can see guys there is there is a slanted riser there and the thickness of that riser is uh, 0 0.015 if i'm going to remove this slanted i'll remove it and then apply the slant will go if we apply slant it is according to your uh, uh, as per project you want you can apply it and again in riser guys we have this riser profile as you can see here in in riser profile we have a default and again we also have an option we can select again mc mc shape profile uh c2 250 by 60 this is a channel so you can create a riser profile if you create a riser profile uh, maybe this is our topic on our next video we will uh, uh we will uh, study this uh a riser profile in depth we will customize we'll do customize riser profile in our next discussion and again there is also riser to, ex to thread connections and here there is an option extend riser behind thread and if i click that we have this uh, extend thread under rises riser i'll apply and there it's going if i will click that one uh, uh, extend riser behind thread there apply it goes there you see it moves this one moves and this one goes and if i'll go on this under riser apply then this uh, uh, thread will go inside and this one will go up and there is also here join all riser and thread if i select this these are all will join apply and then okay and then apply and then okay and then these are all joint riser and thread. then guys uh, i'll go back and uh, go back to this uh, run type 
And uh, next, we have this identity data. Uh, you can type the image and then keynote, model, manufacturer, type, comment, URL, description, and then this uh, type mark and cost. And then, okay. And uh, next that I'm going to discuss is this landing type, 300 mm thickness. So, uh, I'll go and... Uh, this 300 mm is our landing this is our landing 300 mm thickness so i'll go back and if i'm going to click this landing type there is also a button this one and if i click a button we still have an option uh we can change the monolithic thickness if i click this one and make it the same as our uh, uh a thickness of this tear 0.15 and then apply it goes to 0.15 and here monolithic materials so uh, materials cast in situ it's a concrete and they're same as run if I'm going to unclick that there is again go back it goes back to this uh, and then I'll cancel it and uh, I'll go back there. This one, it just only brings me to this thread as run. We have only the uh, change everything about these things. And then uh, we have this identity data, type image, keynote, model, manufacturer, type, comment, URL, description, assemble, and then uh, uh, code, type, mark, cost. And there is also IFC parameters, export type IFC, and so on. And then OK, and then apply, and then OK, and that's it. Here is our task in situ. Now guys, uh, next that I'm going to discuss is uh, this stays cast, uh, uh, stays uh, precast stays. So these are almost the same. The only thing is uh, there is an expansion joint on the landing. So uh, to see that, I'll go back and then uh, go to this uh, level one. And in level one, what I'm going to do is I uh, will going to make again a rail, a stairs, and in stairs again we're going to this uh, property palette and click this drop arrow, and in drop arrow. I'm going to select this precast stairs and then uh, we will adapt the same and here the side number will uh, reduce this to 0.22 okay well, we can uh, change this this is uh, actual rise uh, 0 0.18 point 18 so we can make it uh, maximum 0 0.19 and then apply then OK, and then we have 22. And the actual thread depth is uh, 0.28. We can uh, adjust that one. We can make it 0 0.30 if we want. We can make it 0 0.30 so that this is 0 0.00. Uh, this is 0, 0, 0.03. And then apply. And then we will also adapt the same. Run center and then uh, a width of 1.2. And uh, next uh, we'll also from level one to level two we don't have a base offset we don't have top level offset and uh, now we're going to make a stair run and then uh, i'll go to this straight run i'll make it also 11 and then again i'll go up to one meter and then again finish it and then uh, there is a warning a notch joint can only be used when the run end threads is uh, planar with the landing thread but such that uh, too much important just ignore it and then there is our cast in place see the difference guys this is almost same and this is the only difference is this there is uh, expansion joint and also here there is a groove 
a group. Here it's nothing because this is cast in place. We cast it together with the stairs. This is uh, this will join onto this uh, uh, beam, and then here here we're going to sit on the beam. This one will sit on the beam, and here it is also. So guys, uh, next guys we're going to explore this cast in uh, precast. So I'm going to click this and go to this edit. And here we have the same our thickness the same we have run type landing type we have our thickness of 220 and interior we can change this also this is uh, monolithic so I'll go this I'll go to this uh, run type and then in run type we have this cast in situ monolithic material and then again we see this uh, smooth. We have also option smooth and step. If you select that step and apply, and there, they are almost the same, guys. Almost the same. Now, this becomes step. Before this is smooth, straight like this, and now it is step. And then again, the thickness, as I have explained it to you earlier, this is the thickness from here to here. Our thickness from there is, uh, I'll go back, uh, 190 mm. That is 0.19 centimeter. Uh, 0.19 meter. So 19 centimeter. So this one, we have this uh, monolithic material cast in situ. And as uh, uh, we have seen in our uh, uh, cast in situ, this is also the thread material is grade and riser material is also grade because this is precast con concrete. So the thing is, uh, this is not uh, assembled. So now we can also place a thread and we can place a nosing, a profile. We can do the same. If I check this one and I can assign a thickness. So we'll place a thickness of uh, maybe 0.4 and again a profile. We're going to select this M profile 0.4 and then there. Now it's sitting there. And then again, in our uh, nosing length, we can uh, have a nosing. So I'll place also a nosing of 0 0.05. Same as uh, our uh, pass in place. And then nosing profile, I can select it also. This is, as you can see, I don't have a nosing profile. Apply nosing profile is great. If I'm going to select a nosing profile of, uh, let's say, 0.2, apply. And then I, now this one, it can be edited. So if I go and select this uh, uh, 0.40, apply. As you can see, apply. There is same. the nosing. The nosing is all over. So the thickness is uh, thread is uh, very thin. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll go back and then uh, I'll go to this thread and our thread thickness is uh, 0.4. I'll uh, bring this down. It goes down. And then uh, I'll go. And uh, this one is uh, too much. So now it's sitting now. It's point 0.1. And then again, uh, I'll go back. And uh, we have this nosing. Uh, I want this one to go inside, so point one. It goes inside. Uh, our uh, point point four, I think so. We have to do point two, and then apply. Now, okay. Apply, and then okay. As you can see, guys, now it's sitting there. 
I think uh, it's and uh, guys uh, we are facing a problem here because uh, the thread that uh, we have uh, selected is uh, short I think so we need to uh, our thread is uh, big so we need to adjust our thread so I'll go back just select this and what I'm going to do is uh, maybe I need to make this 1.28 as uh, before this is 0.28 now it is now there selecting now it's uh, coming together now so now uh, if uh, we don't want to change this one so I'll place it uh, 0 0.3 0 0.3 and then uh, apply still there and then what I'm going to do is I'll go back I'll go back to this edit type and then uh, in edit type I'll go back to this run type because our width is uh, short uh, the one that uh, it is loaded there is only 0.28 so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to change this uh, thread profile thread and thread as default only if I change that one apply and now there it is apply now they are together The thread is here and uh, as you can see it is like this again I'll click this one and then I'm going back and then I'll go back there and we have this uh, uh, default I place it default and then join all risers and thread if I'm going to uh, join all risers and threads there is an option of extend behind and you know that and as you can see or I'll do this one under there is no no not too much difference and all join together apply and then okay apply and then okay and then uh, uh, guys uh, here guys uh, what we have done is uh, we have only selected a nosing in front and uh, if we want to see the same as this one we need to again uh, change this uh, nosing so i'll go back and i'll go to this nosing and in nosing applied nosing profile front only we have selected we can apply it also front left apply as you can see it goes to front left and then again if i apply it on this uh, right only front right then Apply, it goes only to this front right and if I apply front left and right apply both are applied left and right this uh, they are almost the same and uh, the only difference is this one and all of uh, the parameters are the same materials you can apply also materials there we have a material materials cut cast in place so we can apply a thread now we have already applied thread material and riser material so we can apply if you want tiles before it is grade so we can apply a material uh, let's say uh, a stone Uh, here we have this uh, AC concrete flooring and then uh, and here in stone we can uh, select any any type maybe granite limestone marble we can select this marble go up and then apply and then also okay and also I can apply marble here on our riser marble also apply okay and then apply and then okay and then apply and then okay now same as this one you can also apply because there is an expansion joint there expansion joint is showing also here and also here you can apply a material here also so i'll click it and then i'll go back to edit because we have already assigned a thread and uh, 
riser so it is not great anymore now we can apply it because we have checked this and checked this and that so we can apply a material also let's say we have adopted marble maybe i go back to stone and we will select another type blue stone so i'll go to this blue stone oh it's not good i'll select another type of stone maybe granite and then uh, appearance appearance okay it's like this like and then okay and then again also here we can apply granite also okay apply okay apply and then okay and there it is guys here is our uh, is uh, cast cast in place and here is our precast stays that's all for today guys see you again on my next topic uh guys fir melengke till we meet again bye bye allah peace